In this episode, we are going to go over how to use Visual Basic for applications within Excel to uh, create a small program to illustrate a concept called a Markov chain. And in order to do this, we're going to use some of our previous learning on how to use controls. But first, to kind of give an explanation on the Markov chain, um, essentially, this is just a, um, a random state change that would happen within a system. And the essential idea with it is that the state change that occurs really has nothing to do or has no impact on your current state. So it's basically a memoryless uh, random change in the system. And the way that it's often illustrated is a, um, a random or a drunk walk that somebody would do where when you, let's say you walk outside of your house and you decide you're going to go north, you take one step north, one step uh, up, and then you then make a decision whether you're going to take another step to the north, a step to the south, a step to the east, or step to the west. And every time you take a step, you're going to make that decision each time without any regard to your current state. So if you walked north before, it has no bearing on whether you walk north another time. And what we're essentially doing within uh, Excel in this VBA program is just creating an illustrated example of how to um, uh, illustrate a Markov chain and how it basically covers a particular set uh, or, or a solution space. So in this particular example, what we're doing is we're using the controls that we've learned about in previous modules where we can uh, control the probabilities. And what we're saying here is that every time we take a step in this particular example, uh, we have an equal probability of either going up, down, left, or right. If we decide that we want to have a much higher probability of going down instead of up, we can change this. And now, this distribution should be much more highly skewed moving in the down direction because we're basically forcing a much higher probability of moving down than up. We still have the same probability, to, about basically a 25% probability of going left each time and a 25% probability of going right. And all we've done here is basically used our controls like we've learned before from our, our developer tab. And then we've put a, a little graph in place, a little chart, that all we're doing in this particular chart is, uh, is charting values um, that we're, we're, we're providing over here and actually randomly generating. And then we've connected, we've put a button here that we are uh, allowing the user to select and execute some code in the background. And this is using the Visual Basic for Applications or VBA um, scripting language that is available as a part of Excel. Um, and in order to draw this button, we simply go to Developer, we go to Insert, we select on button and we can draw a button. And then you can connect, as soon as you draw that button, you can connect that to code that you've generated in the background. And in order to see that code, you, um, you hit on the Alt button, Alt and F11 at the same time to open up your Visual Basic for Applications Editor. And we're not gonna go through, this is really a, intended to be programming, um, an introduction to uh, the programming concepts, but we want to show you how to use the, uh, the interface with the Visual Basic for, um, for Applications Editor. So what you can do is when you're in this editor, you can actually hit the F8 button and that will take you into a debug mode. And in debug, you can actually be able to see what is happening by just hitting the F8 button. You're going to step into each particular value. And you can see what one of the nice things about this um, scripting is if we go down, to, for example, if we hit F8 until we get to this particular code, this particular line of code, you can see that if I mouse over the A, which is just the variable that we want to be able to store some information in, I've, I mouse over it and right now it is empty. It doesn't contain anything. But I'm going to put into A whatever is in value cell 2, 3. In this case, you go down 2, so um, it's always uh, or Y direction first. So we're going down to over three, and that is 15%. And what's going to happen here is that we should have A, when I hit F8, now A becomes 0.15 or 15%. B is going to be A, which is 0.15, plus whatever is in C, uh, cell 3, 3. Down three, over three, 35%. So this uh, B is going to be 15% plus 35%. B will now be 50% or 0.5. C will be whatever B was, which was 50%, plus whatever is in 4, 3, down 4, over 3, 
25%, so C is now 75. So you can see we can, we can go through and um, hit the F8 button and execute each line of code. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna generate 500 random values. We're using this RND, which is a random function to generate an, um, basically a random number between zero and one, a uniform distribution where gen takes on, we just hit this, and now gen is, uh, we randomly generated this number, 0.198. And what we're using here is just some logic to say that if gen is greater than C, then we're going to move X in a positive um, to the right. If uh, gen is less than C and greater than B, we're gonna move to the left. If gen is less than B or greater than A, we're gonna move down uh, one in the y direction, which it is, and so we will now have y be negative one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set cell i plus eight. i right now is one, so one plus eight is nine, down nine. k is zero, plus two is two, so down nine over two. We're gonna put in this cell whatever value x is, and x is zero. So you can see now, zero is written there. Next one, we're gonna go to um, i is one, plus eight is nine, down nine. k is zero, plus three is three, down nine over three. So now we're gonna write negative one in y, because y was negative one. And each time we do this, you can see we, that, that little calculate at the end put the dot on our screen because it refreshed this. And now here's a little trick, or well, I guess there's a tip here, is if you click on uh, this little band next to your code, you can put a little dot, a little red dot. And if you hit the F5 key, what that'll do is it'll execute all the code in, um, in a loop or in your program up until that line. So every time I hit F5 now, you can see a new dot is being added to the screen or a new direction is being generated, the dot may not because you may be backtracking on previous um, items that you, you set. But you can see now, I'm hitting the F8 and we're seeing how this um, distribution or this random walk is being generated. So this is just an introduction. It's, it's a really brief introduction to how to use Visual Basic, um, just how to use the uh, interface, how to connect it to um, your sheet, how to, how to use it for, in this case, to illustrate a, a concept such as a random walk. But hopefully this gives you uh, some ideas, some concepts, uh, you know, some inspiration to go out and to use the Visual Basic and some of the things you've learned in our other modules to develop your own interactive programs.